a look back at the old West Side Highway. Hey everybody, Crazy New York Driver here, and today is a day to check back the old West Side Highway. This is a video I've been wanting to make for a really long time, so let's get down to it. The history of the old West Side Highway gained notoriety back in the 70s when I was a kid. Basically what happened was New York City had neglected the highway so badly that one day a construction truck fell right through the elevated section you're looking at now onto the street below. Actually, you're looking at West 48th Street heading north right now. And you'll notice I'm taking time with all these pictures because I want to explain each one. On the left side there, you'll see a concrete divider blocking the exit ramp. That is because that exit ramp is structurally unsafe. Now it appears on your right. I haven't really moved any, I've just turned around facing the opposite way. The highway is heading northbound, but I'm looking southbound. The right side, on the far right of the concrete divider, is actually the southbound side, which had been closed for many, many years due to it being structurally unsafe. As you can see, nobody was out early on this Sunday morning when I took this video, which was, these pictures were taken in 1982 by me when I was young. Oh yeah. Oh, crazy New York driver was thinking ahead. Sorry about the bad quality of this picture. It's the same area, but I'm standing on the south side, the closed side. I just want you to get a look at what the highway was like. Very eerily silent. All right, now here, where it's still in the same area, West 48th Street, the right side, it, the far right, was the pass, is the passenger ship terminal, which was just brand new back then. And notice all those barrels out on your left there. Those are so people don't drive in that lane, because underneath, the roadbed had rotted away and was also considered unsafe. This, of course, is the same area I haven't left. I'm just walking around taking different shots. You can see the barrels are closing off the far left lane where I'm parked. And the lanes that are open are the two on the far right. Further uptown, this is approximately West 70th Street. I'm standing on the northbound lanes. The traffic that you see on your right is heading downtown. This is the original Miller Highway that's made of cobblestone. Sadly, this highway was torn down many years ago, I guess around 1990, and totally rebuilt. Look at those old-fashioned light poles with the dual mass. Those things are made of cast iron, and they do not move. Let's talk about that a little bit. I want you to pay careful attention to the next picture, which is coming up right now. There's a close-up of one of those cast iron lampposts right in front of you. Now, see where that car is on the right side there, in the left lane? Look right at the back of the car and to the left, and you'll see a broken base of one of these cast iron lampposts. Basically, that's a really bad curve there. And over the years, thousands and thousands of people would come barreling down, not looking where they were going, and they would hit that cast iron light post. Now, the top end of it was broken off over the years, but the base was so solidly cemented in that it wouldn't move, and I can't tell you how many people were killed on that thing. It was so freaking unsafe. Again, this picture was taken back in 82. This highway has long been dismantled and rebuilt, but just look at the engineering of it. I don't understand it. Entrance rams in the left lane? This is a picture at 96th Street heading southbound, which is downtown, after a snowfall. I was feeling energetic, so I decided to go out after the snow and take some pictures of the West Side Highway and, and the melting snow. Nothing more to it than that. I did that back when I was young. I would go out and take pictures of various highways. And you know something? I haven't changed one bit. I'm still doing it. I've been wanting to put out this video of the old West Side Highway for the longest time, 
but you have no idea how long it takes to take all the pictures out of the scrapbook, scan them in, you know, make a little video, and then narrate it. On the other side of town is a highway called the FDR Drive. This was also taken in 1982. Notice the scenic pothole in the left lane, but this was an entrance ramp onto the highway, so they didn't maintain it as well as the rest of the highway. But in this area, there was also a lot of deterior deteriorating concrete, which you'll see in some future pictures. And again, the city left it go. It wasn't until I guess the late 80s, early 90s, where New York City got on a kick of rebuilding everything. And I'll tell you something. As bad as the highways were back then, and you can see they were bad, it's just the opposite today. New York City highways are smooth as silk. You won't find any potholes on any highway. They're out there seven days a week on the weekends filling potholes, checking things out. I mean, it's a bit overkill right now. They're doing it too much one way. But again, that's our Mayor Bloomberg. If you look at the back of this picture, where that station wagon is, you can see the deteriorating concrete wall of the approach to the George Washington Bridge from the FDR Drive. That too has been rebuilt, as well as that very low divider you can see by the station wagon. I can't tell you how many cars would go out of control, hop that divider, and crash head on to people. Terrible. Absolute terrible design. But if you like this video, check out my next one, which is going to be the Henry Hudson Parkway, a look back. A very scenic parkway, which is actually a continuation of the West Side Highway. I might even start working on it today if I get some time. But I want to thank you for this little you know, for your, for your attention, thanks for looking, and subscribe to me. I'm Crazy New York Driver, and you're not. If you have any questions about this highway or any highway, hit me up in the comment box below. Basically, that's all I have to say.